Welcome back to Football Friday Night. Georgia games are in the books. That's right, Brendan. I know you're a South Carolina guy, Aiken native, you know. so we're going to go to some of those big matchups from the Palmetto State. All right, Barnwell, number two in the state in Class 2A, and with good reason. The War Horse is averaging more than 65 points per game so far, and it's balanced. 340 yards rushing, 215 through the air, hosting Silver Bluff. Bulldogs hoping their rushing attack could slow down Barnwell. The Bluff punting, booming one from D.J. Miller. Booming one to T.J. Miller, excuse me, and uh, look at those all-black Barnwell uniforms looking Ooh. good. Great run back, but uh, that was called back. <laughs> okay. So then all Craig right. Pender going to hand it off to Miller, dazzling down the sideline. Look at that. That's the that's nice. little okie doke That's he nice. Gets to the six-yard line, but Colin uh, called back. What? Dwayne Garrick was not happy. Four plays later, though, Craig Pender rolls right. Dino Bynum. We've seen this kid catch plenty of touchdowns. Give him another one. PAT <laughs> was good. That made it 35-7. War Horses, third quarter. Pender, going to have some big offers for that kid. To Jamari Chisholm. Already has 10 touchdowns on the year through two games. Give that man a first down. Five plays later, Chisholm again. And here it is. I can do the math all by myself. That's his 11th touchdown in three games. PAT is good. 42-7. Barnwell cruises over the bluff. How about Bamberg Earhart? They lost the region title to Barnwell last year. Red Raiders taking on Scott's Branch. Hunter Bridges to Trayton Still. That's going to be a Bamberg first down. Same drive. This time Bridges going to go to the ground. Hands off to TJ and Abinett. And uh, diving into the end zone. 6 0 Bamberg. Still first quarter. Bridges <clears throat> going to give it to Kavion Tyler this time. And another first down for Bamberg. They're tough. Fighting through the defenders. Uh, second play of the second quarter now. It's Tyler, and he's going to finish this one for the touchdown. PAT was good. 13 0. Bamberg in front, and they cruised tonight 40 to 8, the final. Now, Rashad Dunn and the Lane Wildcats gave Aquinas a run for their money in the first half in game one of that series. Now, they cross the river and pay a visit to the McCormick Chiefs. Now, picking up first quarter, first play, Laney, quarterback, passes the ball to Jamari Wilson, and he runs the ball to the outside. He's going to avoid a tackle or two. He's taken down, but not before getting a first down. Laney with the ball again, and this one is Marquise Parker with the QB keeper sneak up the middle. He takes it for the Laney TD. I like that. I like that, and the score is going to ring in 6 nothing. McCormick with the ball now. They go for a pass, but it's intercepted by Laney, giving them possession again in their own territory. Laney looking to score again. Parker with the ball, passes to the end zone, and Antoine Nixon, and it's another Laney TD. Now McCormick goes scoreless, and this one, big, and Laney's Wins 42 to, to zip. All right, wow. Now, Elijah Juan Payne and the Aiken Hornets 0-2 on the season. Now playing host to Dan Pippen and the Greenwood Eagles. Jay Davis takes a snap for Greenwood. Hands the ball off to the running back. He runs it into the end zone for the Greenwood TD. Next play, Frisk and Aikens. Elijah Juan Bonaparte takes a snap, and that's gone. Bonaparte launches the ball deep where he finds Talit Jones open for the 36-yard completion. Zay Davis takes a snap and looks right back. He finds Jalen Tolbert open for the completion again. And the second, Greenwood TD 13-6, following a failed drive by Aiken on Aiken's goal line. Greenwood's Zay Davis takes a snap and hands it off to Jalen Tolbert again for another Greenwood TD 20-6. And they win. 43-6. Yeah, Dan Pippen's team's usually good. Fox Creek hosting C.A. Johnson over at Lions Field. Predators looking for their first win of the year. Lost to second round. Wagner Sally last week, 42-20. to Here we go. C.A. Johnson with the ball, and they find Jalon Vanoy open for the touchdown. Now, Jaden Johnson going to take the snap, hands it off to Ryan right. Chavis, breaks two tackles, Relentless. forces his way into the end zone. Fox Creek touchdown. Games have been going back and forth. Fox Creek up 27-26. Minute and 30 seconds left. Johnson rolls left. Quickly stopped in his tracks for a sack by Dawson Lewis. Gets eaten up. Man, they're Good fired up. The Predators. Look at him go. He drops back this time. C.A. Johnson, though, comes away with the <laughs> win. 34-27. All right, we got some final scores. Uh, Wagner Sally, 74-0 over Euclid. Didn't get a Branchville Denmark Olar final. 
27 nothing Blackville over Allendale Fairfax. Richmond Mineta Falls 28 to 18 to Whitmire, and Saluda a winner over Mid Carolina, 49 to 21. You don't have to see the numbers; you just have to trust me, right, Colin? Exactly. I trust you with my life almost. That's a lot. Stay tuned. Up next, we'll check out our game night live game of the week. Colin's going to trust me with his life. I'm just going to try to read highlights. Strom Thurman hosting the Thoroughbreds from South. A lot of big plays on game night live. Here we go. 